Uganda's procurement, while applauded as a law, suffers from a major loophole of allowing contractors on the losing end of contracts awards to cause objections and stall procurement processes. The money is available, we cannot start. Why? Because when the committee wants to award to company A, then company B, with the support of staff within PPDA, they say, ah, 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 put in the objection. And you are all says, once somebody has put an objection, then the process is ended. This is what will change through amendment of the PPDA Act. This, this, if you are a contractor, you think you have been um, unfairly treated by the, by the is it called contracts committee? Whatever. Mm, whatever you call it. Rather than holding on to awarding the contract, let it be awarded so that work is not headed. Then you can now go to court or we go into arbitration and we reward you. We, we compensate you. The finance minister was speaking at a groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of the office building that will house both the PPDA and the road fund. Such acquisitions are part of government's efforts to reduce the 100 billion shillings rent bill for agencies and ministries. We are trying to put up what we call the Webaja uh, project on Entebbe Road, in which we shall request uh, ministries and those agencies that must not, or there are ministries and agencies that must not commingle with other ministries and agencies and departments to go and house in one what we call the government campus, the government campus. Uh, so 